Sorry about that, I had to make a second video because my previous video just died in the arse, so sorry. But yeah, as I was saying, don't get too lost focusing on what's happening here. You actually got to return to be uh, looking at what else is in your life presently that can bring you happiness. And once you claim that, that will become in the next card, the things that are here. Okay, so um, definitely I see this as being like that, like I said, that discontentment. Uh, this is all I've got. And this is actually the awareness now, spilling those cups over, right? Spilling those cups over of being like, yeah, that wasn't serving me, I'm moving on. But often we have that period where we're looking down and we're digesting the experience and we're grieving and we're dwelling and you don't want to get lost in that. So I'd say that definitely what I'm sensing from this is you're in a relationship that's making you feel discontent. You might be having plans with this person even to like travel or to build a home together to live, um, you know, to move in together, um, or you, this might be the situation that you are living together. It's overwhelming. It's making you feel repressed and like you just need to lock yourself inside yourself and, or I need to break away from the situation and take time out in order to process what's going on. Um, but just looking at all of this is definitely, I don't say this stuff. I'm, I'm quite responsible. And I don't like to say to people like this relationship's not working unless it's really clear and this is like something, a coming together of two people. If it's this way, but if it's that way, it's coming apart. It's it's a relationship that's not working too well. Compatibility is in question. It's leaving people feeling discontent. This goes back to the three of cups, people mingling. So you need to meet new people, mingle, uh, even socially, not romantically necessarily, but socially, just to help you get through this. And um, you need to move on over that bridge once, once you're ready to. I'm going to pull... One more, I'm going to do a, a quote for you. See what we get. Find your own unique expression of the God force. Don't mimic for it is already too late. Create a new. So all I get from this is create a new. Don't mimic. Don't keep doing more of the same. Don't stick to something out of habit or out of like, I've got to just do it the same thing. Like mimic, mimic, create a new. Um, find your own unique expression. So find something new. Don't mimic what's already the way it's been going. Don't keep doing the same thing. Do something new is what I get from that. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's that. Now I'm going to, I may as well do the next five cards. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish I could have some water first, but I didn't bring a water because I'm a genius. So now we're going to do 28. All right, for those that picked 28, and it's now 304. Welcome to Quantum Tarot, by the way, since we're jumping straight into it. Now, 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 now. If anyone would like any more information, by the way, on any of my readings, or if you appreciate um and get value from what i've shared with you right now do feel free to message me um you know if you want more information or to donate to the paypal address that's in the description above okay okay so this is for everyone that picked 28 the issue all right so we got the king of cups so upside down so it's a man it's very emotional, um, but it may be a bit emotionally unstable, very uh, possessive and jealous and even delusional, um, needy, but not as needy as a page or a knight, you know what I mean? But they, they do value validation emotionally and they might be quick to over romanticize things and try and control things, okay? So more to that for all those that pick 28. Yeah, so conflict, relationship conflict, strife, conflict of interest, love triangles, a third person getting in the way between two lovers, creating mental conflict within the uh, a relationship. So heartache, strife, relationship issues um, as a result of not being on the same page and maybe a third variable being introduced into the equation, whether that's even like a conflict of interest in terms of this third sword being work and it's, it's coming between two people and one's needs to work is starting to create distance in the relationship and pain. 
Um, so some more to this judgment. All right, so there's conflict. It's a period of conflict with a man who's very. Uh, I don't think he's being too fair in the situation. He's being very selfish with his emotions and even vindictive and cruel. All right, and uh, very um spiteful and vengeful. Judgment upside down. So there's things that need to be acknowledged internally in terms of responsibility in the situation. And I'm thinking this person's not doing that. He might be judging the other person in the relationship. This could be you doing it. Um, it could be a woman who's a very kind of masculine energy and very controlling like a king of cups. But typically this would mean a man. Um, the outcome in this, a devil upside down. Yeah, so... Um, I say that there'll be lots of demonizing. There'll be it could be physical abuse. I'm sorry if that's the case. Um, a lot of controlling, impulsively using fire, using rage, using lower level animalistic tactics of just brute force and intimidation. Um, even using like drugs or alcohol in order to keep somebody addicted and coming back and hooked. That could be an element in this card. Um, because this card is all about hedonistic pleasures and excess. It could even be about staying in this situation because the sex is really good, but it's causing a lot of pain. This person's being manipulative and making you feel demonized and judged. Um, and a need to return to temperance to balance things out. To balance things out, okay? Solution, Wheel of Fortune upside down. So uh, it's, it's time for a seasonal change. The seasons are changing. Um, there was a period of harvest maybe in this relationship where it was appropriate to give you time and water it because you'll get returns. Now that season's passed and you're not moving with it because this is upside down. So this means you got to go back to the previous card, the Hermit, and you've got to actually take time out because you're in this. You can't find a solution when you're in it. You've got to take time out, reflect on this, reflect on your experience and turn it into the lantern, the light of wisdom and knowledge and awareness. Uh, moving forward, you gotta take time out so that you can move forward um, and move into the next phase of development. And from this point, everything you've put in, you'll get back, just like the harvest, whatever you've sown, uh, you'll reap. And then you'll move into the next season, whatever that means, whether that means leaving this relationship or whether it means changing the nature of the relationship into something that's more appropriate, putting some rules in place. But you need to take some time out first. I'm going to go through these rings a little bit quicker than the previous. I'm sorry for that, but just for time constraints. Um, so, solution, please, for this person who picked 28. Some people will walk, some people walk in the rain. Others just get wet. By Roger Miller. Some people walk in the rain. Others just get wet. So... What walking the rain to me, to me denotes the experience of like they're walking in the rain, they're doing something like, and they might even be singing in the rain. Whereas other people, when they walk, the only thing they focus on is, oh, I'm wet, I'm wet. They're not doing anything in particular. They're not, especially not singing in the rain. They're not walking in the rain. They're just complaining about getting wet. So I'd say this other person, the King of Cups, is very much about, you know, they might even imagine. So, uh, imagine that you're doing things against them, um, doing thing to, things to betray them. They might have serious trust issues. They definitely have serious trust issues. And there might be hard times you've been through. And instead of being like, your approach might be, if this is the other person that's like, have the trust issues, you know, your approach might be, well, we've been through these hard times, but we've survived them and we've bonded because of it. We, we know each other more now. Whereas they're just like, they just got wet from the experience. They didn't focus on the walk that you did through the rain together. They're just like, oh no, you did this and it hurt me. Therefore you hurt me. Therefore you don't care about me. Therefore you're kind of an enemy. Therefore I kind of resent you. Because instead of being an adult and being aware of like, yeah, shit happens. We all hurt each other, but you can work through it and forgive each other and accept that it wasn't intended. This person would be like, well, no, um, you might've thought we walked through the rain, but I just got wet. That just hurt me. I'm just hurt, regardless. And they don't see the bigger picture of what's actually happening. So I'd, I'd say, uh, solution, I'm gonna pull a solution card for you. 
the Queen of Wands upside down. So Queen of Wands, oh Jesus, this might mean if you're a woman in this situation with a guy that's been very controlling, possessive, emotionally unstable, distrustful, um, and self-centered, okay, and controlling, and uh, making you feel judged, that indeed your, your solution might have been to think you should go off to cheat, to find, to find someone else, to find another guy. Um, cause that's, that ties in with the, with this card, which often can mean love triangles. Queen of Wands is the card of the cheater. Somebody who's very, also vindictive, impulsive, um, also like possessive as well and fearful and suspicious. Um, but those people are the ones that are the most inclined to also cheat because they can justify doing so once they imagine that the other person deserves it for some reason. Um, they can also be very hot headed, highly tempered, very fickle people. So, but I think this is part of the solution is saying maybe like if you are seeing someone else, maybe the solution is like moving on with that person. That could be the solution. It came up in the solution section. So I'm not saying cheat. I'll never say cheat. But if you're already doing it and you've got two cards in your hand, it might be better to go with this card than the other card. Yeah, and I definitely think um, you're not going to wind up on top in the situation with this other person. So you've got to retreat from it and leave. Um, leave. If you have even friends, maybe somebody else that can help put you up, then do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Um, if you would like more information on that particular reading, do let me know. If you pick 28, that reading is for you now for those. And um, if you got value from that, do donate if you wish to the address shared in the link. Now I'm just going to do, sorry to say this guys, I'm going to do very quick readings for the next four numbers because I got I got things to do very soon. Okay. So I'm going to get through this pretty quick, but for those that picked 29, for those that pick 29, I'm just going to make a note of this so I can find it at 12.15. For those that picked 29, this is for you. Doesn't matter when you found this, when you pick 29. Doesn't matter when you found this, when you picked 29. What's going on in these people's lives? So everyone that picked 29 finds this video. Wow, that fell out. The Fool. So a new beginning, a new journey, a new undertaking. Yep, um, something you've got to be careful not to rush into too quickly. That's that card is the most active and dynamic card of rushing in based on an impulsive desire to be like, wow, that's what I want. That's what I need to do. And just jumping into it without a thought. It's pure fire and impulse, um, which definitely goes in hand with this and being careful to listen to your intuition so you don't jump off the cliff accidentally because you're too distracted chasing butterflies of opportunity. And whenever you have a new undertaking, you are like a fool, you're like a child and you need to learn things because you can be quite naive and unaware of what's ahead of you. So more on the situation, might have jumped into a relationship, a new relationship um, that is tricky. You might even be jumping into seeing someone that's already in a relationship and uh, that's creating problems for them going to create a problem for everyone or you're jumping into a relationship that's the compatibility maybe it's somebody like an ex that you've already have trust issues with there's already been like cheating or conflict and you're returning to a situation where there was strife there was conflict in the heart more on the situation yeah it was something that you really worked hard at um it could have been something that uh, you worked hard at and you didn't really get the returns you wanted um, it even maybe made you lose a job or you had to stop your studies because you got too distracted. Um, this could even be that you've jumped into, you've jumped into a course or a new job mastering your craft. And it's something that now you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I really want to do this. And it's making me a bit depressed or stressed. And that could be what's causing tension. If you are in a relationship, that could be what's causing tension. In your relationship is maybe too much time spent at work even overworking okay um yeah so let's see what the overall obstacle or key theme in this thing is okay so the key theme of the obstacle is definitely it's a relationship it's love 
that is suffering as a result of um, some undertaking that might be new or it could be that you're already in this undertaking, this work, you're working too hard, it's causing strain on the relationship um, and because maybe you rushed into either the relationship and you weren't fully ready to give yourself to it because you've got other commitments and that's why it's suffering because you're, you're committed to this um, or um, this could be about the need Maybe you rush into this thing and it's not helping, so you need to leave it. You need to leave it. I don't know, leave the relationship or leave the job? That's the question. If you leave the job, yeah, it's going to lead to you feeling overwhelmed and defeated. Uh, the other person's going to be very upset and you're not going to come out on top. You're not going to be able to negotiate a happy ending if you leave the job with your lover. If you choose your lover... Page of Swords, it will require that you make a compromise um, on what you know you need to do. Okay, and, and it might be you might be having to lie to yourself, I suppose is the simpler way of putting it. Or be deceptive. You might it might lead to deception with the other person. Uh, inauthentic sharing of information that's not found in truth, basically, between you. So I'd say there's some kind of commitment that maybe you really don't want to leave. I don't know, this is hard. What's the overall solution here? What's just what should this person do in this in this reading? Yeah, alright, so keep working. Keep working, keep toiling. It is hard work. That's why this is upside down. And um you're just putting strain in your relationship. It is. Um But there is also discontentment. I mean, it's giving you security, this work. It's allowing you to live a comfortable life, but there is something missing. I want to pull one more in relation to that card as the solution in relation to that card. Magician. So uh, taking control, initiating ideas that you've got and putting them into action, making new arrangements, um, taking control and basically, yeah, initiating new beginnings. So that is the force. So there is like an idea of like, like the fool magician the fact that there is strife and discontent being caused yeah even this like this is the same as this taking a very solid idea and boots putting it into action taking your vision and making it real so if you've got ideas i'd say this could be you trying to do an undertaking with work a new business undertaking and it's saying to keep at it that you you got to persevere and it it seems to be suggesting that yes, the part of that price will be that it will put strain on your relationship. Um, if you choose to keep doing the work, it just means that your partner might continue to kind of wrestle you, and you're going to be this guy trying to defend yourself and keep higher ground and keep every, keep you know keep on top. Um, it's going to be hard though because you're not going to stay on top. But um, this is suggesting to me that this commitment you've made to work is something that's important. This is to do with trades work, like goods and services. So definitely um, keep at it, but I would say ease up and don't overwork yourself. And make sure you have a clear idea of what you're doing and that you're well informed, you're getting uh, counsel from the appropriate agencies so you don't rush into anything and end up um, in over your head. That is one thing I see coming through. So... You know, stick stick by your guns. Um, maybe leave room for alterations, new beginnings in a, in a sense, um, or new ways of managing your business, or maybe even like still doing your own business but doing a different kind of work. That could be it. Like, don't give up on what you want to do, but what you want to do doesn't have to take the form of that particular job. For example, if you want to help people, you can be a doctor, um, or you can be a counselor. You can be a surgeon or you can be a psychologist. You know, there's different ways to help people. That's just an example. Um, but I'll, I'll do a reading, uh, uh, a quote for you, for those that pick 29. The use of money is all the advantage there is to having money. The use of money is all there is to having money. So I'd say that definitely there might be conflict in your relationship because yes, in business, you, you might be like the knight of wands diving into things. Um, and you have a very strong idea holding that sword of like what you're doing, but it might mean you're over acting overconfident and you're, it's, you're investing too much money, maybe in the wrong things. You're taking risks. 
that might not pay off and it's going to cause him uh, emotional strain in your relationship and arguments conflict um because you're getting over zealous you need to slow down calm down get some more information from other people measure twice cut once because if you only measure once you might end up having to cut twice or three times or four times because you didn't take the time to prepare and measure it up properly you keep fucking it up so measure twice even measure three times cut once prepare and then execute and um the more you prepare the better the execution don't rush in too quick so that's for those that picked 29 now for those that picked 27 and we are now at 20 34 for all of those that picked 27 this is for you for those who picked 27 what can we do all right, so new love interest, a new opportunity to, to undertake maybe an artistic career, an opportunity to advance yourself in the artistic fields or in any path that's going to bring you emotional reward and nourishment. Mm, isn't that nice? And uh, yeah, an emotional conquest or uh, love pursuit. You know, maybe you're going to meet somebody. So that's the overall, that's the overall theme of the reading. For those that picked uh, 27, for those that picked 27, what else? What else in this reading, please? Justice. All right. So this could be with somebody who you've reconnected with. Um, you've either met them through there's been some kind of altercation. It could be to do with law um, or uh, an issue between friends. And maybe you've met somebody through that process. You've met someone that was a witness or a friend of a friend involved in the situation. And you, there could be an opportunity there. Or it could be with somebody that you've had in an injustice with in the past um, and now you've made amends with them. It could even be a situation now where there is an imbalance, a situation where people aren't on the same page mentally and there's conflict and judgment and accusation and uh, a need to approach it with love, with love, with love and it'll be all right. But let's see. Oh, yeah, all right. So the King of Wands. So this is... The King of Wands represents a like an, an older man or a man that's that's very um, confident. But um, the upside down King of Wands is somebody who is quite arrogant, hot headed, hot tempered, and quick to temper, um, controlling, possessive, um, the jealous type, uh, very materialistic, very superficial, very egotistical, very status oriented. Uh, very charismatic, but they might be deceptive and they kind of just want everyone just to give them attention and give them the appropriate response they desire. So they might be a little bit smarmy and chameleon. Um, and they don't care so much about truth and integrity. They just want to be loved by everyone. And it's, like I said, very ego and hot tempered and superficial, superficial man. Um, there could be a situation of injustice if you pick 27 between someone who's younger and less versed, um, who is maybe pursuing, and this could be a girl, two guys in a relationship, like two guys that are at conflict over a girl. Um, but let's see, this could go different ways. You definitely got the Justice card, then we got the Knight of Cups on one side, somebody who's acting with virtue and honor, and then we got the King of Swords on the other side, someone who's not acting with a virtue on and they're just trying to just force an outcome so what's that about what's what's going on there oh that card again so it could be with work um you're in a work situation where your overseer the king of wands so the guy in authority with authority um is maybe giving you some shit because you're a very emotionally oriented person and you you care too much about like other maybe there's this guy's an asshole to people at work and you're like that's not right. That's not fair. And you're complaining because you're like, you're caring about ethics and how people are being treated. And this guy's just like, no, and he's an asshole. He might be shouting at you and over controlling and just a belligerent dick. That's quite possible. And this could be at work. This could be an undertaking that you're, that you're taking. This could even be that you're trying to study something, you're trying to study something and pursue a, a course of development in the arts, in the arts. This could be your father. This could be a father being controlling, hot-headed, narrow-minded, and just being like, no, arts for pussies, don't do that. I don't know, and there's a bit of injustice with the family dynamic. That's very possible here. 
what's what's going on definitely and this is about you you were discontent because you weren't pursuing the thing that you really would make you happy and you had to settle for whatever whether it's at work this guy's like just do it this way stop questioning my authority or whether it's your dad saying no artistic fucking pursuits are for pussies whatever it is um or whether it's a love interest and i'm not sensing that i'm sensing that there's something you were denying yourself but now you're you're stepping back into it and you're actually pursuing it because this goes to the three of cups which is the people celebrating having a jolly good time so i'd say that you're actually pursuing um this thing but it's there's some people in your life that aren't happy with your decision they don't agree with it what's the overall solution for you what's the solution for you my friend ha <laughs> ha yeah that's that's the card that comes before this and that's something pulling them back to back and this upside down goes to like i said the three of cups upright so the solution indeed is to go out there pursue um meet people this is all about going out it's not two of cups like love relationships and two people coming together this is about socializing um going in group dynamics mingling with different people getting ideas sharing ideas experimenting collaborating this is about collaboration it's also about celebrating and socializing and meeting new people making contacts networking um enjoying social banter and all of that stuff but i'd say that definitely um if there's somebody in your life trying to repress you down and there's like there's a lot of conflict there and they they've got a disagreement with you about what you're doing maybe they're saying you need to keep working you need to keep studying you can't pull out oh, that's not actually sensing this could be a father that's saying or someone that's pressuring you saying pull out from this don't pull out from what you're doing you might have a job that you hate and you've been feeling discontent because you've been doing something you don't really enjoy but now um you're wanting it could even be that you wanted to stop work you wanted to uh, slow down how much you're working slow down how much you're studying so that you can pursue things on a more emotional course and socialize more it could just mean that you want to work less and play more and socialize more because you're feeling drained at work and because you're feeling discontent and bored of your situation and this could be the father who's like nope 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 could be your boss who's like nope don't leave me i must have your soul forever i don't know i don't know Let's pull out, let's pull out a, let's put out a quote, a quote for you. All right. To the things you believe in, uh, the things you believe in are the baggage you carry with you in your life. The true sage believes in nothing other than the sacredness of all things. He lives in spontaneity of energy and he defends nothing nor judges anything. His world is eternal and infinite. He sees beauty in all things and he accepts the ways of man, including restriction and strife. He knows that without constraints, there would be no challenges. Without constraints, there would be no challenges. So from this, the first thing that comes out is like the things you believe becomes a baggage in your life. He lives in the spontaneity of energy and this is like a very spontaneous cat. Um, he's taking a leisurely stroll. He's not, he's not too quick and acting out. But he's just like going with the flow, you know. So it's, he believes in the spontaneity of all things. He doesn't defend or judge anything. He sees the beauty in all things. He accepts everything, including strife and restriction. So that already paints a picture that's of somebody that is, like I'm saying, more um, heart-based. And they're more just like, they're not, they understand there's restrictions. So maybe that's why they're also doing this. But they do have a need to fill their cup emotionally. That's what I'm sensing from this um but it is saying that there is a certain element of restriction or challenge this could even be with law if you have issues with law that's actually forcing you to pay off some debts for some naughty things you did or um you've lost business you've lost business maybe as a result of a judicial hearing or some kind of legal dispute um with with a man of this description um and that now there is very much a need for you to accept that, okay, because of all this stuff that's happened, there's limitation now. I don't have as much money. I've had to spend a lot. Um, I've had to work hard to, to right the wrongs, to bring justice. Maybe if that's the situation, um, now it is still important to connect with friends, to build up your energy and all that, to feel okay with everything. Uh, if you want more information on that, to tailor it to you in more detail, 
Let me know, man. Let me know. So now we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Going through to 23. Alright. 23. So, uh, 30. So everyone that picked... Everyone that picked number 23 through all the time, when you find this video, I want this reading to resonate with you. I want it to speak to your situation. Therefore, it needs to be broad. It needs to be general. But I want it to apply to as many people who picked the number 23. 23. Oh, we got a card. Oh, Judgment. That's the third time that's come up tonight. Holy crap. So, all right. It's a situation in which there's Judgment where one needs to accept their responsibility and 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 deal with some baggage inside something that they're holding on to that's causing guilt maybe self-blame um or something that they've ran away from they never took responsibility for it and it's causing tension all right and they need to resolve that well, so what more is the issue if you pick 23 what more is the issue the fool oh a new beginning okay new journey new beginning new undertaking leaving something yeah, so this card is about reviewing all the different aspects of your life. If it's upside down, it can represent, um, you know, instead of looking at all the aspects in your life and making a decision to be like, all right, is everything in balance? Is there anything I'm neglecting? Are there any areas of my life that need to be focused on? Instead of that, it's like your head's in a cloud and you're not reviewing all your prospects. You're not reviewing all the aspects of your life. You're, you're zoomed in on just a few things. Um, and this is a need for you to do. You need to um, focus on the bigger picture of what's missing and what's out of balance. Um, but your head might be like in a cloud and your head's in the sand and you're not, you don't want to address the big picture of your life. You don't want to address the big plans. You just want to, right now it's too overwhelming or too fun. You just, for whatever reason, you're stuck in this moment. And that's where I think this judgment card comes in is that there's your ability your ability to review your life openly and then make decisions of what you can do to um, better bring things into balance and give attention to things that you've been neglecting, okay? That's what this is about. You can't do that if you're still so caught up in dealing with any one of these aspects of your life. If you still have unresolved issues, so there's, this reading is about your need to make a new beginning following Judgment Day, and once your heart's been weighed on the scales with the feather of truth, and your wrongs have been rectified, and everything's been balanced, every, the scales are balanced, then you can finally move on from the Judgment Day to your new life, right? New world, new beginning. Um, yeah, so right now I'd say you're at this point where you're, like, you're resting and you're kind of got your head in the sand and you're not really addressing things. So what's the biggest obstacle in this? What's the biggest issue for you to focus on? The Emperor. So I'd say that if this is an obstacle, there's a woman in your life that you're losing yourself into. Like pe people talk of people that have like a motherly complex where they always need like a mother uh, to be codependent with. Um, like um, what do they call it? Like man child syndrome where they become so dependent on the mother that they, they can't, you know, they can't draw their ideas together. They can't take responsibility for their own lives and they can't leave the nest and have a new beginning because they're so needy of not, not literally their mother. It could be their mom, but it could be the needing of a woman in their life, the needing of a relationship in order to uh, feel okay because they can't take control of their own life and be independent. But this could also be um, about a need to, uh, nourish yourself if you feel exhausted or if you've been neglectful or self abusing this is a need to look after yourself and focus on your health um, focusing on what you need to give yourself in order for you to grow and be healthy um, yeah so let's do more for that because that's that's the key issue key issue key obstacle yeah so I'd say this is uh, a need to travel I'm sensing that here is something you want to move away from or there's an opportunity and there's an opportunity to travel um and to keep your awareness you need to keep your high awareness balanced with your fears this card requires courage because with this card comes an element of fear um, and a need to keep things balanced together as you're entering new territory traveling moving forward um 
And when you're moving into the darkness and new territory, there are unforeseen forces to contend with. So you do need a level head. You can't just act on your fear or, or else you're going to let these two um, elements come out of balance and tear your chariot asunder, tear it apart. And what these two elements represent is just the general uh, obstacles that you need to negotiate with and bring together and balance together all the different factors and everything's always in duality, right? It's always in um, in choices between two opposites and you need to find the balanced approach between two choices, you know what I mean? So that's what this is about, the choices you need to make and to keep everything balanced together to keep moving forwards on this new beginning. So I'd say you're at the end of something. Something's reached like a halt um, there could have been some real serious conflict um and it could have even been that someone's passed on is what i sense as well that's possible for some of you and now it's like people are measuring out the the will maybe like who's what's going where who's getting what money and it might lead you to traveling or getting a new house getting a new car even but i do sense leaving a situation um to focus on yourself even maybe growing a business and this could just be about saving money so that you can afford a ticket so you can afford a ticket or uh, your car you know so um, solution solution uh, what's the one more thing what's the actual problem here what's the actual obstacle here yeah so there's a situation that was very overwhelming and that's what you're leaving behind um, it's no you're no longer in that situation so that's why there's judgment now you were left with too much pressure on your back or responsibility and it blew up and it's getting to the point where the dust, the dust from that situation is starting to settle and you're going to be able to review your life in the big picture, make plans, make investments so that you can travel or um, move into a new field. So overall solution. Yeah, the overall solution is you need finances. That's what I sense here now. It's part of the key focus is a need to focus on harvest because this is all about also growth and harvest and nourishing something maternally to make it grow giving it uh time energy being patient all that stuff the solution here is you might need a hand you might need to get a loan you might need somebody that can help you financially take that first step if you are looking to travel or if you're looking for a new place um or if you're looking to choose a course or a career path you know what i mean like you need money to study um yeah, so let's, that's the solution, is, is seeking help. And um, you're working on saving right now and making more money, I think, so you can afford possibilities. So, it's only for you. Everything is out there waiting for you. All you have to do is walk up and declare yourself in. No need for permission. You just need the courage to say, include me. Providing you have the energy to pull it off, you can do whatever you like. And the universal law, being impartial, will be only too delighted to deliver. So it's pretty much saying, like, yeah, like, whatever ideas you end up deciding on, whatever you decide to go out there and literally pursue and try to bring, bring to fruition and harvest, it's all out there waiting for you. All those possibilities are there. I think you're holding back because there's fear. There's fear holding you back of what you don't know yet. Um, having left the situation, you're probably still recovering and coming to terms with that. But you don't need permission. Um, it's pretty much saying if you're thinking about leaving and pursuing something and you're so overwhelmed by maybe different ideas and fears, it's saying that whatever you feel most drawn to, try to be balanced in your view, but don't let it paralyze you frozen so you're not moving at all. But indeed, whatever you want is out there and it's going to work out. You just got to go, you got to go there and declare yourself in and say, okay, I, I've got this. And you need to first be able to say, I've got this so that you can get this. And then you can say you got it. Anyway, that was where I was at picked 23. If you are got anything from that reading, feel free to, um, for more information, message me. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal uh, email is in the link and I would really appreciate it because it really does help me um, continue to do what I do and uh, I very much value it. And um, with all donations, there is an extra reading for anyone. If they want more information, I can give them more information and if they give the donation, you know. 
So the final reading for all those patiently enough who waited, but you probably didn't just watch the whole video. You probably just looked at the timestamp and then found your thing. So it's all good. For all those that chose 26 for the last reading, for all those, I'm just going to write this down. For all those that chose 26 at 40, we are at, at 40. All right, for all those that chose 26 across all time and space, across all time and space. This is for you, the situation, dude, for you who picked 26. Wow, this card keeps coming up tonight. So this card is about toiling, you've been working hard on a situation, um, and it might be at the point where you're feeling so exhausted and discontent and bored with it, and the returns simply are not enough for you. It's simply not bringing you enough happiness. Okay, um, it could even be if it's not work necessarily, a relationship in which you're investing more energy than uh, what you're getting back in return. Okay, definitely a Knight of Swords, something you jumped into too quickly, um, and you know, you maybe had very different ideas and expectations about how it was going to work out, and now you're learning, like this guy, like, oh shit, I actually hate this fucking career path or this fucking person I've decided to commit to. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, more on that. More on that. So uh, this could be that you've jumped into a job opportunity. Maybe travel was involved. And you've just arrived somewhere and now you're like, fuck, I'm overwhelmed. This could even be that you moved house and uh, you've, you've made a big transition in your life. And it's to do with finances, I'm thinking. Um, and you've jumped into it, but you are feeling like, shit, did I make the right choice? What's the overall obstacle? No key for this. Key focus. Knight of Wands, so it's something that might be, like I said, you've got t two cards here, and these are the two most dynamic, these are the only cards that show the horse is really dynamically running and jumping into things. This one's jumping into out of impulse, this one's dashing into something because it has such a conviction and such a belief that this idea is so great, it has to capitalize on it immediately. So this is urgency created by a realization or a thought that something is worth pursuing. It's a realization that compels one to pursue. This is more like a spiritual jumping into something, jumping into something without thinking about it. So I'd say that definitely that's an issue here. You've jumped into a, a situation um, and that looks in upside down, I believe. So definitely I see both of them upside down that you've You've jumped, you've taken or maybe been off more than you can chew or entered into something and you're not quite happy with the results. More on the key focus here. Yeah. And now, um, maybe you didn't really think it through. You didn't really look at all your options properly. And, you know, now there's a, maybe now you're at this point where you need to go into this, um, and actually think like, fuck, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? What do I need to do? Maybe take a bit of a rest, take a bit of a break is what I'm sensing, so that you can review the big picture again and go back to the drawing board. Um, the outcome for you, yeah, so that's four of cups. So this is exactly what I'm talking about, is um, taking a bit of a break, a bit of a rest period, a bit of a vacation, doing things you enjoy, connecting with people that make you feel at home. Um, and it's, it's not like happiness is permanent. It's just having a nice vacation or a nice getaway with friends and enjoying a good time recuperating. So that's definitely on the cards is I think you've been overworking. Um, you've been pushing yourself too hard, um, jumping into something maybe and uh, solution solution, uh, the high priestess. So don't deny your intuition. Don't deny uh, your inner voice that's telling you, no, this isn't right. Listen to your intuition. Don't, Decide with your head and don't let your impulse rule you. Listen to your heart and that, that voice in your head that isn't your voice. You know what I mean? Intuition, your inner tutor. And yeah, part of the solution. You've got security by this the thing that you've entered. You've got security by this job or this commitment. But there's something that's missing. It's a gap in, in you. It's leaving you feel unfulfilled. So you need to risk losing that or at least just walk away and suspend your commitment to that temporarily in order to travel on up the mountain so it's going to be an arduous task 
Um, it's going to require commitment and work and patience. But in order to feel fulfilled and get that capstone, okay, to feel truly happy, uh, you need to move away and find something um, that's not provided here. It's not provided in this current situation. It's definitely what I see is like, that's what with that, like you need to go back. I think you rush into an idea of, and it's not turning out how you want it. So you're going to end up taking a bit of a break to recharge your batteries. I think you might even need to walk away from it or take a, a real serious break from it. And um, even, even if that means for like a few months or even for a few years and putting it off till later, taking a bit of a break from it. Uh, I'm going to pull one quote for you. Never waste time and energy wishing you were somewhere else, doing something else. Accept your situation and realize that you are where you are, doing what you are doing, for a very specific reason. Realize that nothing is by chance, that you have certain lessons to learn, and that the situation you are in has been given to you to enable you to learn those lessons as quickly as possible, so that you can move forward, onward, and upward along the spiritual path. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Looking at it like that, it could be that you're in a situation right now and you might be thinking like, oh, it's too much work. Oh, I rushed into this. Oh, it was such a bad idea. Why was I so impulsive? Oh, you know, maybe I didn't think about all my options right. And this could be saying, if, if we're going by that quote alone, fuck, to, to stick it out, to stick it out, or maybe not to stick it out, but like, don't quit necessarily immediately. Enjoy this phase, this process, like you committed to it for a reason. So you may as well, now that you're in it, learn from it, right? And that's where I think this card is more value here. Learn from it, but also make sure you take time out to rest and heal and nourish yourself and don't overwork it. And once you've learned enough, I'd say, um, if you need, maybe take more of a break or move away. But all I'm sensing is this is not leaving something. It's taking a break from something that you've committed to and it's overwhelming and you're like, you're not happy about it. Um, but that's maybe why the high priestess came in as the intuition, uh, as the, sorry, the solution is to stick through this and yeah, rest from it. Don't get too overwhelmed. Don't work yourself too hard, but focus on what there is to learn. High Priestess, focus on the, there is to learn to develop your understanding, your your intuition. So that was 26. Um, if you have any more information, if you'd like me to give you more on that for you specifically, feel free to message me. Otherwise, uh, if you valued that, if you valued any of these readings and they really hope for you and they helped, uh, I do uh, encourage you, if, if you can spare a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you wish, or more, if it was more value to you, uh, you can donate through PayPal to my email, which is in the description above, or it's Garden Virtuoso, so V I R T U O S O S at hotmail.com. Uh, very much appreciated. It helps me to continue to do this. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, third edition of the blue numbers of our uh, Quantum Tower, and um, I hope it helped and it spoke to you and it's given you some insight. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, nothing is really fixed. I mean, I believe in certain ways the narratives are fixed, and I do believe in destiny. Um, but we choose the devil in the details. God, so to speak, might be the author of our story, but we are the devils of the details, and we decide the devils of the details. So even if the narrative skeleton and the bone structure is set in stone, in bone, we choose to flesh it out and we choose the details and the face of how the narrative appears. Whether it has a beautiful face of paradise or an ugly face of hell. So uh, nothing is fixed. Like the narrative is kind of fixed, but whether it's a tragedy or a fucking inspiring, beautiful comedy, uh, love story where everyone's super happy and it's, it's one of those feel good films or whether it's a horror or tragedy. Um, it could be the same plot line, you know what I mean? But really, it's how you tell the story. We don't decide who we become necessarily. We don't decide uh, what is happening in this world, the story. But we can definitely have an influence on how it shapes up.
because we write the devil in the details. So take all this with a grain of salt, you know, and um, nothing's set in stone. Something, that's what I mean, like the Chinese acknowledge that the, the obstacles, uh, their word obstacle is the same, or crisis is the same character that they use, the Japanese character for the word opportunity. Because every ladder, they recognize that every, every snake, everything that brings you down, has a hidden ladder inside it that can, there's an opportunity for you to progress and excel. All right. So even everything that seems like it's painful and suffering, it's all about loss and there's nothing good in it. There's always something good in it. There's always something to learn from it. Uh, and from the, our learning, from our insights that we develop, we make better choices and we can better gain. We can better gain better things in the future. All right. So it really is all perspective. Nothing is really evil or good and nothing is really like, unfortunate or fortunate just like the farmer and the horse story it's what you make of it it's what you choose to do as you react to these situations and how you choose to let it shape you and how you choose to henceforth shape your reality in all the different ways that you choose to serve it with your truth so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, much blessings to you all, and I hope you enjoy this edition of Quantum Tarot. This has been Phoenix, and I will catch you next time. So take care, and much love.